I was initially surprised by the verdict in the Perry case. Widely, it was considered a strong self-defense claim and a case that the district attorney was likely to lose. But trials can go any number of different directions, and the jury found Daniel Perry guilty. That's one thing. Uh, last year, the governor pardoned seven people. The year before that, two. You are more likely to be struck by lightning or to win the Texas lottery than to receive a pardon from the governor, let alone a recommendation for a pardon in the middle of trial court proceedings. Daniel Perry has been found guilty by a jury, but he has not yet been sentenced. Technically, under even the Board of Parole and Pardons procedures, he's not even eligible today to apply for a pardon because he hasn't been sentenced.